guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to do problem on structural analysis. We're going to determine if a truss is determinate or indeterminate, just like how we did with the beam. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you some practice problems that you can use to study for your FE exam. If you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. Oh yeah, everybody now. So in the previous video, I did a problem similar to this one, but using a beam. So make sure you guys watch it. If you haven't, I will leave the link somewhere above there. Uh, but for this one, the equation is provided to us. So you don't need to remember to anything. It is under the structural analysis section, page 157. These equations are here, exactly the same thing. Yeah, so let's go over it together. So M is for how many members you have R. As we said in the previous video, R is usually for reactions and then J is for joints, right? So you count how many of these you have and if it's less than, you have an unstable system. If it's equal, you have determinate and if it's greater, you have indeterminate. But you gotta also keep in mind that in the FE exam, if you are giving this problem, you will be asked if it is indeterminate by how many degrees. And so I'm going to show you guys how we're going to do that for this problem. So let's start calculating this. Okay, so if you guys calculate how many members we have, you should get about 21. Reactions, we have three because remember, pin has two and then roller has one. And then for the joint, we have about 10. So let me show you guys the members, how we usually calculate them. So this would be considered a member. This is a member. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Anyways, I got lost but you guys should count it. You should get 21. And then for the joints, these would be considered a joint. This is a joint and this is a joint. Even at the rollers and at the support, you have a joint, right? These are not considered the joint. So yeah, so you should get about 10. And in the reactions, we have three. So now let's use our equations. Okay, so we have M is 21 plus three, right? 21 plus three, that gives us 24. I have two times 10. So this is equals to 20. So I have greater than, so I have an indeterminate case, but we need to determine by how many degrees, right? So it's really easy. All you gotta do is just 24 minus 20, this gives you four, so you have an indeterminacy by four degrees. That's it, it's really simple, guys. I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you on the next clip. If you guys want some practice problems, you can visit my website, just scroll all the way to the bottom, sign up or enter your email address, and I will send them to you along with some tips on how to tackle this exam. Okay guys, so that will be it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, please leave in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon. A la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.